Stop scrolling. This video might literally save you hundreds of dollars. Because if you do not understand monitor panels, there is a very high chance that you are using the wrong monitor right now. T N I P S V A O L E D Mini L E D. These names sound confusing, but they completely change how games feel, how movies look, and how comfortable your eyes are after hours of staring at a screen. Let's start with TN panels. TN stands for Twisted Pneumatic, but the name does not really matter. What matters is what TN panels were built for. TN panels were designed for speed. That is their entire personality. They exist because early monitors had a big problem with motion blur, especially in fast games. However, TN panels pay a heavy price for that speed. The colors are weak, the contrast is low, and the viewing angles are terrible. If you move your head slightly up or down, the image changes. If you play competitive shooters, care only about performance, and are on a tight budget, TN can still make sense. For everyone else, TN panels are outdated. They are fast but uncomfortable, like a race car with no air conditioning that you are forced to drive every day. Next up, we got IPS panels. IPS stands for in-plane switching, but again, the name is not important. IPS was created to fix the biggest weaknesses of TN panels, which were poor colors and terrible viewing angles. IPS panels keep their colors stable. Even when you look at them from the side, from above, or from below, this is the reason IPS panels are everywhere. They look good, they perform well, and they work for almost everyone. IPS panels are offer accurate colors, wide viewing angles, good brightness, and solid response times. For gaming, modern IPS monitors are more than fast enough for almost everyone. You get smooth gameplay and good image quality at the same time. This is why IPS is considered the safest choice. Next on the list are VA panels. VA stands for vertical alignment, and VA panels are known for one thing above all else, contrast. VA panels can produce much deeper blacks compared to IPS. This makes a huge difference when watching movies or using your monitor in a dark room. VA panels are amazing for movies and story-driven games. When you sit down at night and watch a film, the deeper blacks make everything look more cinematic. However, VA panels can struggle with fast motion. In fast games, especially shooters, dark objects can leave trails behind them. This is often called black smearing. Motion blur can also be more noticeable compared to IPS. In real life, VA panels are perfect for people who value immersion over speed. If you watch movies, play slower games, or use your monitor mostly at night, VA can look fantastic. Now we move into premium territory with OLED panels. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode, and this technology is completely different from everything we talked about before. OLED does not use a traditional backlight. Instead, every single pixel lights itself. When something on the screen is black, the pixel turns off completely. This is why OLED looks unreal. Colors are rich, blacks are truly black, and response times are instant. There is no blooming, no glow, and no blur. For gaming and movies, OLED feels like a different world. Once you see OLED in person, it is very hard to go back to anything else. However, OLED is expensive, and it comes with risks. Static images left on the screen for long periods can burn into the panel over time. This does not mean OLED will instantly break, but it does require more care and now at last, we have mini LED panels. Mini LED is not OLED. It is still an LCD panel, usually IPS, but with a very advanced backlight system. Instead of a few large backlight zones, mini LED uses thousands of tiny LEDs. This allows much better control over brightness and contrast. Mini LED monitors can get extremely bright, which makes them perfect for bright rooms and HDR content. They offer excellent contrast for an LCD panel and do not have burn-in risks like OLED. Mini LED is often considered the safest high-end option. You get near OLED image quality, very high brightness, and long-term reliability. It is ideal for people who want premium visuals but are worried about OLED burn-in. So let us simplify everything. If you play competitive games and only care about speed, fast IPS or TN makes sense. If you want one monitor that does everything well, IPS is the best choice. If you love movies and deep blacks, VA is great. If you want the best image quality possible and have the budget, OLED is incredible. If you want a bright premium setup with fewer risks, mini LED is a strong option. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also comment what type of monitor panel you are using.